lovely to welcome you and we pray for Juliet and all those who are with her in Wiverliscombe. And uh, it's my joy to be with you. Um, if you haven't met me before, my name is Anne and I come from Taunton. Um, I'm a chaplain, I'm a chaplain of St. Margaret's Hospice Care. Would you please stand? So we start our service with hymn number 305. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. So let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Please kneel or sit. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
and as forgiven people we stand to sing to Gloria. Keep a moment of quiet before the collect for today, the 17th Sunday after Trinity. Almighty God, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless till they find their rest in you. Pour your love into our hearts and draw us to yourself, and so bring us at last to your heavenly city where we shall see you face to face. In Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So we sit for the first reading. reading from James 5, verses 13 to 20. Are any among you suffering? They should pray. Are any cheerful? They should sing songs of praise. Are any among you sick? They should call for the elders of the church and have them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise them up, and anyone who has committed sins will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another, and pray for one another, so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being like us, And he prayed fervently that it might not rain, and for three years and six months it did not rain on the earth. Then he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth yielded its harvest. My brother and sisters, if any among you wanders from the truth and is brought back by another, you should know that whoever brings back a sinner from wandering will save the sinner's soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A gradual hymn is number 253.
hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterwards to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than to have two hands and to go to hell, to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than to have two feet and to be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into hell, where where their worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. For everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, O Christ. Please do sit. May I speak in the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones, it would be better for you if you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. If your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. If your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. Have salt in yourselves. Salt is good. But if it's lost its saltiness, how can you season it? No, have salt in yourselves. In other words, be true to yourself. Have faith in yourself. Be yourself. If we try to be a pale imitation of someone else, we lose our saltiness. Or to put it another way, we lose our integrity. So I believe this passage is about encouraging us to ditch the bits of us that do not bring out our saltiness. It can be a lifetime's work discovering and being who we are and who we are meant to be before God. But if we persevere, we will be at peace with ourselves. And if we're at peace with ourselves, we are at peace with one another. And so this morning I'd like to read you a story uh, and its title is Becoming Real. The skin horse had lived longer in the nursery than any of the others. He was so old that his brown coat was bald in patches and showed the the seams underneath. And most of the hairs in his tail had been pulled out to string beads, bead necklaces. He was wise, for he'd seen a long succession of mechanical toys arrive to boast and swagger and by and by break their mainsprings and pass away and he knew they were only toys, and, he w- and they would never turn into anything else again. For nursery magic is very strange. Only those playthings that are old and wise and experienced, like the skin horse, understand all about it. What is real, asked the rabbit one day, 
when they were lying side by side near the nursery fender before Nana came to tie you? Does it mean having things that buzz inside you and stick out like a handle? Well, real isn't how you are made, said the skin horse. It's a thing that happens to you. When a child loves you for a long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. Well, does it hurt? asked the rabbit. Well, sometimes, said the skin horse, for he was always truthful. When you're real, you don't mind being hurt. Well, does it happen all at once, like being wound up? The rabbit asked. Or does it happen bit by bit? It doesn't happen all at once, said the skin horse. You become. It takes a long time. That's why it doesn't often happen to people who break easily, or who have sharp edges, or have to be carefully kept. Generally, by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off, and your eyes drop out, and you get loose in the joints, and you become very shabby. But these things don't matter at all, because once you're real, you can't be ugly except to people who don't understand. I suppose you're real, said the rabbit. And then he wished he hadn't said it. He thought skin horse might be a bit sensitive. But the skin horse only smiled. The boy's uncle made me real, he said. That was a great many years ago. But once you're real, you can't become unreal again. It lasts for always. stand now to affirm our faith in God. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. May we sit or kneel for prayers of intercession. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. 
Strengthen, O oh Lord, our ch your church in its care for those in need. We pray for all healers and healing communities, for those who practice the laying on of hands, for, spiritu for spiritual guides and counselors. We remember all who come for forgiveness, hope, and comfort. We pray for the Reverend Juliet Gosling Brown, who this morning celebrates her first service as an ordained deacon at St. Andrew's Church, Riverliscombe. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, bring peace to the troubled places of the world where war or natural disasters are destroying both human life and the beauty of your creation. We pray for the safety of the innocent people of Afghanistan, whose future is very uncertain at this time. We pray for the safety of the people of La Palma in the Canary Isles, Islands, where many areas have been totally wiped out by massive rivers of molten lava from continuous violent volcanic eruptions. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. Lord, teach us to be open and generous in our dealings. Bless the neighborhood in which we live and the place where we work. We pray for our families and our friends. Strengthen us in prayer so that we may in all our lives be sustained by your continual presence. Guide us as we intercede for those known to us who are distressed and afflicted. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Loving Lord, support all whose strength is gone, those who are totally exhausted, the world weary. We pray for the homeless, all who are lonely, those who cannot help cope on their own. We remember also all who suffer from malnutrition, from hunger and thirst. Comfort and relieve the sick, especially those who have asked for our prayers. By Cook, Paul Haslam, Roger Barnes, Jan Weaver, Alfie Webb. We also bring to you other people in need who are on our hearts at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Lord God, we praise you for the victory that is ours in Christ Jesus, for the promise of joy in your eternal kingdom. Accept the prayers which we offer for those who have recently died. Fred Bradley, Anthony Sampson, Olive Andrews, Look mercifully, O Lord, on their families and on all who mourn the great loss of their loved ones. We pray that all those departed from this earthly life may be numbered with your saints in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. Trusting in the mighty power of God revealed in Christ, we offer our prayers through him. Merciful Father, accept these, these prayers for the, the sake, sake of your Son, Son our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Amen. you to stand for the peace. God is love, and those who live in love 
live in God and God lives in them. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. So we share the sign of the peace in whatever way is now customary. Our next hymn is number 411. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation, Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin Mary. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. 
so he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world. Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption and we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of all the saints may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. If it's your practice, please sit or kneel. So on page 13, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread.
draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. bless you with his love and keep you safe today and always. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow us and make us continually to be given to all good works through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And before we go out, are there any notices? Just a few notices uh, from me. You may um, have passed the test or not this morning, depending on whether you realise that the deliberate mistake was not to take the offertory. Um, if you'd like to, to make an offering, here's a basket at the back as you go out. That's the first thing. Second thing is to say thank you very much to the Reverend Anne for being with us here this morning and having a lovely service. Thank, thank you. you very much indeed. Um, and I'm sure you all enjoyed it as I did. Um, next week, I'm trying to think what's happening next week because it all changes so quickly at the moment. Um, next week is a Eucharist service here at 9.30, the same. And um, other than that, I don't think I have any other messages. Ed, no? Okay. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. I invite you to stand for the blessing. God of all grace, who calls you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, establish, strengthen, and settle you in the faith. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, those who you love, those who you pray for, those who you remember, and remain with you today and always. Amen. And our final hymn is number 507. <laughs> Let us bless the Lord. Amen. 
made of builders' places and how she'd rested. Wisely.